All right, guys. Here we go again. I just, I just filmed this, and right almost at the end, there we had an amber alert here, and it messed everything up, and the video stopped, and I don't know how to edit to add to it. So we're gonna start over again. Anyway, a little video today. A few things. Uh, uh, some kind of good, some kind of not so good. Uh, it's been a crazy week. We had a shelf fall in my wife's uh, sewing room. And uh, a big plant which she had in there took out a shelf. Uh, wiped out some of her owl collection, vintage owl collection. But uh, only lost two. But we had to clean up stuff and put all back together and get the plant out of there. Uh, it's been crazy. Uh, second, uh, yesterday I went up to Diamond Lake to my sister's to visit. And my nephew was there and he had a couple more kits for me. So we're going to look at those and then have some questions for you guys that we need to go out in the garage for real quick. So I'll give you a little quick peek at what we're going to look at. I'm excited to look at them. I've been waiting all day. So let's look at those real quick. Just give you an idea what we got here. Some pretty cool kits. We'll take a look at them. Uh, I haven't looked at them yet, but first I got to go out in the garage, show you guys something, pick your guys' brains, mm, get some advice, so hang on a sec and we'll go to the garage. Okay, here we are in the garage. Hopefully that amber alert doesn't pop up again because I don't know how to get rid of it and keep filming. But uh, I need your guys' advice. Uh, I haven't sold kits in probably 23, 24 years. So I need your advice. Uh, wife has some medical issues, nothing real serious, but we need some cash, ASAP. And I don't know how to sell kits. So I got all these kits. I think there's like uh, 68 of them. Uh, most are complete. Uh, some might be missing some decals. Uh, some I drop some parts out of like uh, let's see like uh, well no it might be some parts out of that one the other one I pilfered I I kept but I don't know I'm thinking I'm thinking 10 bucks a piece for all these kits 68 of them but the deal I need to ask you guys about is uh, I need to sell them all in one lot because I need a big chunk of money. So, you think that's crazy to sell them all and somebody will offer me 10 bucks a piece and buy them all? Uh, you think that's uh, you think that could happen? Uh, I don't know. Uh, some of you guys out there, you know, you're wheeling and dealing a lot. So, give me some advice. These are all the kits. Uh, I'm going to put them here locally on... Uh, Facebook Marketplace because I, you know, I can't ship them. That would be ridiculous amount of money, and they might sell faster. But I'm gonna just try it locally here first. But these are all the kits. Some are sealed, like that one and that one and that one. Uh, that one's the one with the with the bent top. Uh, I think that one or that one has uh, older uh, original issue 62 with the newer one. I was gonna kit bash uh, uh, that one might not be totally complete uh, so you know just you know a few things like that but I figured 10 bucks a piece should cover the ones that are sealed you know like that and the other ones I showed you and the ones that are missing stuff uh, those decals I think I have in the house I'm gonna find all deep because I take them out put them in my folder so I think I have decals uh, don't have for that because I peeled them for a car because I, I wasn't planning on selling them and I think I got the decals for that that don't have decals for that but they're complete but even if they're not I figured 10 bucks a piece they should work so you guys give me give me uh, your advice on if you think it's feasible to sell a whole lot like this uh, for one big price and then uh, yeah, they might not sell at all. I don't know. And then, and then, uh, 
uh, you Hot Wheels guys out there. Is there a market for Hot Wheels if I sold them in a big lot? Uh, all these ones on the wall here, you can't see exactly what they are, but it kind of give you an idea of what I got. And then there's a big value pack gift set thing there. And then over here, there's some more. Uh, those are really cool. I hate getting rid of them, but if they'll sell, uh, they gotta go. And then there's some here. I don't want to spend too much time with this because I want to show you those models in the house. But then, you know, there's all this stuff. It's just kind of giving you guys an idea of what's here. And you Hot Wheels guys, if you think they'll sell, because I, I don't know. I know Hot Wheels were kind of dead for a while and nobody wanted them. You got to find the right guy. And these might be really tough to sell locally. I don't know. But tell me what you guys think. And if you think I'm crazy, again, it's nothing real serious with my wife. It's a it's a one day surgery, but I need uh, some money for the uh, what the insurance uh, doesn't pay. So, like I say, I got about 68 of those, 10 bucks a piece. Do the math. You think that's uh, feasible? So anyway, let's go back in the house and do some fun stuff, and look at those kits my nephew got me. So hang on a sec. Okay, we're back in the house, gonna do some fun stuff now. Let's do this one first. That is really cool box art. I've never had one of these type of kits. Uh, 1967, which is kind of cool. That's a really neat box. Uh, I have a few 130 seconds, a couple I've built. Some are just uh, old and in the box still, but let's see. What we got here, oh, it's blue. Look at that. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah, see, so I don't know if I built something like this. I probably won't sell it with the other stuff because my nephew got it for me. There's already a couple out there that he said he understands and can let them go, but they're not old. Uh, the older ones I'm keeping. And this is pretty old and pretty cool. What a bad kit, man. Look at all that flash. Wow, that's crazy. And, you know, so is it flash because of crappy moles? Or is it flash because they were old in 67? Maybe these things came out in the 50s or something. I don't know. Oh, it's gold. Look at that. That is gold. What kind of car is this anyway? 1909 Rolls Royce Silver Ghost. Ooh. You know, that's a pretty cool car. I might try building this someday. I really might. Because uh, that is a cool... Uh-oh, we got a problem there. What do you think of that, guys? Huh? That's not good. Let's see what we got here. Uh, ooh. Uh, it's a little bit on the windshield there. Okay, anybody have any ideas on how to get those unstuck? Just rip them off. Get them a little bit warm. Uh, put something on them, soapy water, I don't know. You guys got any advice on that too? I'm really picking your guys' brains today. I need lots of advice. Uh, they're, they're even <clears throat> stuck together. Those are really soft uh, rubbery tires. See, I mean, look at those two. They're stuck together big time. So, I don't know, maybe soapy water soaking them in or something. I don't know. Help me out on that too. Here's the instructions. Again, 1967, vintage brass car instruction sheet. Hence the brass color on the box. Ah, pretty, pretty neat. Pretty good instructions. It's not too crazy. I mean, it's, you know, 132nd, is that what it is? So, quite a few little parts for it. Look at that, parts on that motor engine whatever uh yeah it's uh it might be kind of a fun little quick build i think god look at that that's, that's some serious uh parts there what is that right there no i'm trying to find that look at all the little parts on there the firewall it might be kind of a challenge to do this thing anyway this pretty cool pretty cool little kit oh you need to watch me put it back away Let's jump on to this thing. He said this thing has 
not very many parts, but he thinks it's all there. 